Got some hats. Got a washing machine. Samsung. Space Invaders. Mini logo skateboards. Huh. Do you know whose table this is? Huh. Well, if he comes back, tell tell him I want a skateboard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> steel. That's good. It's is it steel? Yeah. Okay. Chewy. Not like still or style. Oh. Oh, look at that. Wow. The zigzag pattern on this hat is called Shark Tooth, and it's been around for a while. As you can see, if you have a vintage hat that's over 20 years old, it can be worth upwards of $100 or even more. Our hat in the current condition is probably worth about 35 or so. It's not vintage, but that's still really cool. All right, we'll get these three from you. Okay. Nike. Nine. Bucks. Nine? Good. Yeah. You good? Thanks, Thank man. you. Appreciate it. We'll stop back by. Okay. Morning, how are you? Fine. Good. How much are your squishes here? These are 12. Okay. Charlie Brown. That one's eight. That one's cool. eight. Um, that one's eight. These are 12 or eight. Like the bigger ones are 12, smaller ones are eight. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. How cool. Mickey Mouse through the years. Yeah. Now those are 20. 20 bucks. And those are my favorites, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, those are cool. Should you do 30 for this pile? Oh, yes. That's 20 for those and five each on these. Only because I'm a nice person. Only because you're. Nice okay. Person. That's really not going to make it a whole lot of money, but guess what? I like it when I take on less and when I take on more. You know That's, I mean? right. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day. You, you too. too. <laughs> Do you know what these are? Um, they are from Hot Topic. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
No, I do not. I got 52. Will that work? We'll do it, man. Okay. I appreciate Thank it. You. Appreciate you. It's so cool. This is very nostalgic for me because I've played yeah, this game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Probably like famous. 400 hours. There we go. All right, thanks guys. Thank awesome. you. Awesome, thank you. Okay, we're just put it on top. Yeah. Okay. You're just on patrol, don't let it. Model ship. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool, huh? He said all the pieces are there. We'll oh. find out. Can you just carry that? I'm scared it's gonna fall out. That's not heavy. The whole thing's filled with magic cards. Magic, yes sir. Oh my gosh. The whole thing. Let me get a, let me get a clip of that. Yeah, the thing is just filled, yeah. filled with magic yeah. cards. That's crazy. I don't know. I know there's the Black Lotus or something. Tim, do you see Tim? Oswald Jeff Thrift. They bought like a hoarder house. Yeah. And they found like, it was like a collector set with all the cards, but it wasn't like tournament legal, but he had all the cards and they paid like 5,000 bucks for the whole house and they sold just those cards for 10,000. It's crazy. This is the most valuable item I have ever sold and also the coolest. This is a 1993 Magic the Gathering Collector's Edition box set. It is complete with all 363 cards, including all Power 9s, like this Black Lotus card that's in mint condition. These cards are in excellent condition with just a little warping, so some of them do not lay flat. But that did not matter to the person that I sold these to. I found a collector who was willing to pay $10,000 for this entire box set. We got the deal done this week. Oh, these are cool. What do you want for these tech decks? Um, There's five in there. Three bucks for the bag. Three bucks for the bag. Let me let me see if I got three bucks for you. Thanks, man. Perfect. Appreciate it. So here's the five tech deck boards that were in that Ziploc bag. I use Google Lens, and I don't think any of them are incredibly valuable, but some of these can be rare and worth upwards of like $100 or more for one single board you can also look for the ramps bowls half pipes things like that with tech deck those can be worth a really good amount of money as well oh gloves sweet. sweet what's the retail 35 so hopefully they'd give us good this is exactly what we need we can sell them after we're done with our ski trip this weekend yeah is this your table 10, 10 for 10. the gloves okay men's, do you think i my, need a my men's medium probably Okay, there's a oh, look at there. Fits like a glove. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Oh, yeah, that's that's good. Perfect. That's perfect. So, 20 bucks for that. That's a snack for our ski cool. trip. Okay. Yeah, that's I might get all four of those. Be good whatnot stuff. There's a polo hat. New with tags. MSRP is 50 bucks. What do you think he'll charge us? Mm -hmm. How much your, how, how much would this one be? 10. I mean, 10? 15. 15 on, yeah. yeah. 15 on the hat. 15 on the hats. 15. Let's see. What about those coloring books down there? Dollar. Dollar? All right, so we got two gloves. 20. No, that hat on sale for 10. That one's 10? 10. What is that? I bought them. I had to buy them all with Ness. Yeah, Mitchell and Ness. Yeah, we can do 10 on that. Okay, so. All right, see so it. 20, 30. 35 with the coloring books. You want all the coloring books? Yeah, we'll okay. get all, all four. four. Or, yeah, 34, sorry. 34, 34 with the coloring books. And did you want the hat? Um, I think so. So, we'll, the hat's already in there. <coughs> you want that hat for 10 since you buy that much? I'll do that. Okay. Man, by the watch, you need a break. Hey, that's right. I like that. Let me see. Yeah, we got plenty of, plenty of cash left. Let's get, let's get a. Black one and a, so you got you got four of these polo hats. Do you do forty for all four of them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's right. awesome. Yeah, those are cool. Classic. All right, so okay, forty so for the hats and then whatever that's stuff. Thirty-four for all that. So forty, seventy, say seventy-five bucks for everything. So you wanna do that? Yeah, we'll do seventy-five for everything. Sixty. It's eighty bucks. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate yeah. you. Y'all have a good day. Man. You too. Cold, yeah, we're going on a ski trip this weekend. Here I don't know what I yeah. <laughs> These are your clothes back here too? Yeah. Okay. Now I got a deal on them. Like yeah, let's look at them. What's a golf club? Oh, look at this little Ford tractor. That is so cool. Uncle Bill, Uncle Bill used to have a tractor exactly like that. 
It was like a 1950 something. If only we had a kid. If only. You, th you don't think I could ride that? How much? How much for your Ford tractor over here? Yeah, somebody bought it. He said it's uh, already, so I just asked. Yeah, that's cool. My uncle had one. The, the actual tractor looked just like that. All right, so what do you, we got? That, that there is a raincoat. Yeah. A jacket. Look what it costs. An uncle. Probably, I'm gonna guess, 150 dollars. Yeah, 110. Yeah. Okay. But I'll let that thing go for 40 dollars. Okay. Let's. How about this bundle? We got the jacket. Okay. T and two hard cart shirt, hard cart, car heart, and the PFG. $55. I'll do it. You throw one more in for 60? I can't. can't I do that for 10, though. I was just trying to find something. What's, for, what's something to... I can find for $5? Yeah. Give you 60 bucks. You got anything for five bucks? <laughs> You'd sell one of that, one of those? Yeah. Which one you want? Whichever, pick one out for me. Don't matter to me. I got Columbia. If you like Columbia right there. Columbia? All these. How about, how about this one? That's I'm good if you're good. All right, 60 bucks then. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you, now. Thank you too. You. That's how you saw this. Yeah. His prices were super fair. He was nice. Mm -hmm. Willing to deal. Already made his money. He's mm -hmm. just trying to clear stuff out. Yep. That's what we look for. Wow, look at this. The Pikachu <laughs> camera. So cool, man. Oh, and the uh, an Olympic digital voice. Hey. Oh, what's up, man? I told you want twenty, right? Yeah. Twenty bucks. You got a twenty on this. Uh, I'll do fifteen for you for the camera. Fifteen. Oh, and the button is a diglet. That's cool. <laughs> got this hat. Uh, that's yeah. neat. Should you do 15 for these two? Yeah. Okay, cool. The skateboard is cool. It's probably worth more than $20, honestly. Oh yeah, I know it. I just don't want to deal with shipping. Oh yeah. I'll just do 20 bucks and throw in the, the hat, so I don't have to worry about change. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. 20 bucks for the hat, the recorder, and the camera. Thanks, man. What started off as a kind of like, meh kind of morning, ended up pretty good. great. Yeah. Turned it great. Turn I just said turned it great. <laughs> it did turned it great. All right, so the total spend for today at the flea market was $324. When we look at a little financial breakdown here, we've got our total gross revenue, which was $940. That's how much this stuff is actually worth online. Minus our total spend leaves us with a total potential net profit of $616. Haley and I are gonna take a quick look at a couple things we got at the flea market today to give you guys some further clarification. But before we do that, I wanna take a quick second to shout out our Discord server that we created a couple weeks ago for reselling and YouTube. If you guys are interested to join that community over there, very similar to our old Facebook group that we had, this is just a way to maybe weed out some of the scammers and make it a little bit easier to navigate. But if you're interested in learning more about that, there'll be a link to check that out in the description of this Video. Let's look at this stuff. Haley, would you mind removing the lid for this thing? Oh, absolutely. I can do that. So no, I don't mind. That's, that's what I'm <laughs> You don't to mind. Say. You don't mind. So with stuff like this, it's really important to make sure all the pieces are there. Looking at it, um, you know, from the top, I mean, it's still got the instruction book. It's still got all this stuff. But I'm pretty sure there's like a thing in here that says like all the pieces that you should have. It's still got the mesh for like the sales and stuff. And this is all the sales. Everything looks to be still like in the package down there. So if you don't have instructions with it that shows exactly what you have, I would recommend like laying all of it out, like maybe like in the driveway or something so people can see exactly what they're gonna get and then just list it on eBay and say like, hey, you know, I don't know if everything's here, but here's everything that's included. And chances are somebody will be willing to buy it as is, but I'm 99% sure that everything is complete in this and it should be able to sell for like 150 bucks. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Something else I noticed was that this Nike hat we got, it's got Nike check in front and Nike on the side, but the inside says like, Muka or something? Some it's like not Nike on the inside. It's just Nike oh, on the outside. That's that's my fault then. I mean, well, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. Really interesting. So let me know if if that's like a fake or something. Just drop a comment down below and let us know about that. Shark tooth hat. Obviously, that's really cool. All that Columbia stuff we got. Like I think this is your size actually. Yeah, this jacket. Women's clump. Maybe a little bit big. What size is it? It's like a women's large or something. Probably yeah. women's, women's large. Women's large, $110 retail. Mm -hmm. Probably an easy 60, 70 bucks or for so. Sure. All that Columbia stuff at the end was really, really solid for sure. This pair of Adidas shoes, I did want to be um, clarify a little bit. There is one sold comp on these on eBay for like 60 bucks. 
but that's only one. I think there's four sold or four listed, sorry. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if we would get 64, but $15 is still a pretty good price to pay on those. The Squishmallows, what do we pay for those? Like 30 bucks? 20, 20 for this. 20 for that, and then this. like 30 for the, 30 total. I would say that that on eBay is only selling for like 20 bucks, mm -hmm. so not super profitable for most people. Um, but Squishmallows do really well for us and whatnot, so that's why we got those. Probably wouldn't buy it if you're just an eBay seller, at least not at that price. Um, I think that's everything. See you on the next one.